One marshmallow. Check it out. Woo! Two marshmallow. Two marshmallow. Check it out. Uh, man. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I don't even know what we're doing, but I know we have a great show for you today. We're going to be talking about yes. the favor of God over your life. One marshmallow. Two marshmallow. Oh, damn. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Wrecked. We'll be right back. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to Wake Up. Before we wake up, I'm Pastor Scott. And I am Pastor Holly. What's the, what's the one that the, the kids do? I'm, so, I'm, I'm tired. My back hurts. Um, yeah. I don't oh know. my gosh. Now you know. Uh, peanut butter in, in a, a cup. cup. This is how we pump ourselves up. <laughs> peanut butter in a cup. This is how we pump it up. Yes. Or this is how we, we something. Pump I don't ourselves know. up. Pump it up. Yes. I'm too hot. My back aches. I don't remember. Oh how my gosh! Anyway, we got out. a great show for you today. I wish we knew that, but maybe we'll, we'll have know it. From it Monday. And then we'll we'll do know it again. from Monday. And uh, today is Monday. Oh well, we'll know it for Tuesday. So we're going to be in Genesis chapter 12 today, and uh, um, just talking about uh, a covenant that God has with you and yes. I. But here's a clip from uh, Phil Muncy from last weekend. If you can miss church and not be missed, you need to move in a little bit closer, get into and volunteering, getting around. When they start saying, we are family, that's not the time to check your Instagram account. I can't see you, so I don't know if you're really happy or sad or mad. No, that's when you get around. Hey, my name is Phil Muncy. What's your name? Hey, where do you live? What do you do? Because if you can miss church and not be missed, you're too far away from the fire. Get closer into the fire. Amen. That's so good. So good. The power of fear over our lives. Yeah. Um, stress, which is another fear. Anxiety, yes, another everything fear. Everything comes back to the root of fear. It all, it all seems to um, hold us back. And that's why I'm going to change the scripture today. We're going to be in 2 Timothy 1.7. Is that God did not give us mm -mm. a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. That word power means to control. When fear grabs a hold of us, uh, and we saw that in the pandemic, people lost control. Mm -hmm. Fear, stress, worry got so a hold of people that we lost our ability to love one another. Right. I mean, there's tons of videos and stuff, where we, we, and we lost our sound mind. Right, we did. I'm not talking time. anti anything. I'm just talking about you could really get a picture. All of us saw all of the videos during the time, but the same thing in your life. God didn't give you stress and worry. No. Right? Right? He gave you peace and joy. So the devil will always bring you the opposite. So faith and fear are opposites. Right. They both create our world. So faith brings forth God's promises into our life. When I have hope and expectation that today's a great day, my faith seems to pull into my world everything that I need for a great day. This is what Paul said. Paul said to die is to gain. And he was basically saying the same thing. He's like, he took it off the table. Devil, I'm sorry. I'm uh, afraid. I, I'm, not, I'm not afraid. No. It, 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 I'm going to win. I, yes. He, he said, you know, if I stay here on earth, you know, I'm going to make a big difference. And yep. If I go to heaven, great, good for me. And kind of taking that off of the table. That's right. But then on the same way, well, what if I lose my career? Okay, well, God's got a better career. Yeah, I'll so get another you, one. So you just begin to take things off. Well, what if we lose this? Well, okay, okay God, I'll God, get more. God, God, so you begin to take off of the, the menu for the devil, mm -hmm. right? You begin to take things off the menu of things that stress you out, <laughs> get you anxious, and get you full of fear. That's right. And uh, and have you doing a deep dive into things that you should never, you know, sometimes the removal of friends. Sometimes you lose a friend and you're heartbroken, but maybe there's a protection there that you're not allowing yourself to think about. You're not looking into. So you said that when we first started dating, I'd come out of a really bad relationship. So I was very jealous and cutie pie over here. Right. And she she says to me because I was getting a little jealous in the car. I remember when we were driving. We were driving right down a uh, uh, mill and uh, by ASU. And she goes, oh. I don't do jealous, so you'll need to fix that. And I'm like, well, what do you mean you don't do jealous? I mean, how do you not do jealous? How, I don't even understand this. She goes, yeah, I don't date, date jealous people. And I'm like, but I'm a jealous people. She's like, well, you may well, want to change. You may want to fix that. <laughs> I'm not going to be micromanaged. So I had to. What did I tell you? Was I my had solution? to fix that fear. Yeah. What was your solution? My solution was, I'll let you know if I don't want to know you anymore. <laughs> yeah, she goes, yeah, I'll let you know. You don't have to right. worry about me cheating. I'll let you know. Yeah. Right? And But it actually, in a, in a way, so it's kind of the same thing you did. So what I would tell my mind is I'm like, okay, if she cheats on me, I didn't have her anyway. So what, why stress about it? Stress about, with my last girlfriend, 
stressing about it didn't change the end result. That's right. <laughs> she still cheated on me. That's right. And said, I was just stressed the whole time uh, and full of jealousy and fear and anxiety. So it was a battle of the mind of going, no, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to stress about it. I'm not going to worry about it. And I took it off the table. That's and it right. really, I believe, it, it, it took a lot of craziness out of my life. It, you know, hiding in the bushes and everything else. You were hiding in bushes? Not with you, with my ex. You went and hid in the bushes? I was in the bushes. Yes, I hid in the bushes. Checked the phone. I did all, I did crazy things. I was a crazy friend. She was a crazy cheater. Wow, that sounds like a terrible way to exist. It was horrible. I'd it's rather just, be alone. And that's another thing, right? Amen. So anyway, deal with your fear. Uh, deal with your fear. Take things off of the table. And uh, when you take it off the table, now you got the peace of God, the faith of God operating That's in your right. life. Amen. I encourage you to partner with us. Whatever that means to you, $8 a week allows us to be on pray.com. Whatever God puts on your heart. Dear my Father, Lord, we thank you and praise you. You did not give us fear, you, but Jesus. instead of power, love, and a sound mind, that we can go through this life without stress, without worry, without jealousy, without anxiety, without fear. And we can go forth with faith. And faith begins to bring to me all of your promises into my life. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right, here we go. I'm going to read okay. dad jokes. And okay, and I'm, I'm not, I'm supposed dad to keep jokes. a straight face. Why do you never see hippos hiding in trees? Because they're very good at it. Sick of these pseudo hipsters in their Abercrombie and Fitch shirts who probably can't even name one Abercrombie Fitch album. <laughs> What's black and white and looks like a zebra? A zebra. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh my god. Winter is very hard on trees. When you finally enter spring, trees are relieved. <laughs> we got her. We got her, we got her, we got her. We'll be right back. Watch this clip. When evil is going to implode on itself and God's going to be sending forth an awakening to our destiny, your confirmations will come through your brothers and your sisters, through your spouse. Trust that. I've been married for 46 years. The greatest thing that ever happened to our relationship is when I stopped fighting and stopped defending and start accepting that my wife would not say anything to me that would hurt me, that only was trying to help me. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, be in church this weekend, wherever your church is at. And uh, don't forget about, what do we got? Uh, Candy Cane Lane, December 8th through the 10th, and Women's Christmas Party, December 1st.